All right, so what we're gonna do today, we're gonna carve this uh, palm tree, banana tree, whatever you call it, and I'm gonna put little slices in this to create like the sense of fur hanging off of each little slice. And my assistant, Lori Bias, is gonna hold the, uh, the vacuum cleaner while I carve. doing here is these are all separate pieces right and that's pretty obvious glued together screwed together but what I want to do is cut up into the piece above the bottom piece underneath of it so that they kind of go together so these pieces of like tree fur and bark kind of hang down or give the appearance that they're hanging down over the underneath piece and then once this is all concreted you're not going to be able to tell these are all different pieces but my goal is I don't want to have the same thickness all the way down because that's boring and bad design I want to have different thicknesses, like this one's really long here, but then this space is really small there. And that's called dynamic design. Does that mean that you do? Oliver, we can't understand you. Man, you're so high maintenance. So what we did up here was, on these banana leaves, we carved out like little sections, two or three inch little sections. Some go back and some go this way, left and right. And it kind of creates that feeling of like a, a paper thin banana leaf. And as it gets to the bottom of the leaf, it's, it really is paper thin, just like a real banana leaf. And at the top, it's thicker like a stalk. My assistant Lori is sanding the banana leaves and while she's doing that I'm going to start carving this ancient ruins. Got all these trees and the ziggurat and last night knocked out the snake. So I'm going to start adding some of the detail work to some of this background making it blend into the back wall which is going to be blue sky. This is the tree that we carved out with the Dremel tool. Cut out big pieces, big chunks in here of this tree to kind of mimic what's going on in this tree, this old twisted wooded tree. And so now, now that it's cut out, we have to get rid of all these sharp edges here, make it a nice smooth transition from the outside to the inside, like an old twisted tree. It takes a lot of patience. A lot of patience. Because you really want this tree to be round. You don't want it to be flat. So you kind of got to go on, the, on an angle on the sides. And you want to twist 
in the motion that the tree bark would go. That's good.